So Samba TV is trying to make TV audiences more addressable. We're also trying to make them more measurable. Um, the way we're able to do that is by way of software. We have in, resident in about 180 million devices. And the 180 million consists of smart TVs, set-top boxes, phones, tablets, and PCs, uh, where we're observing video consumption, ad exposure on all of these devices to more accurately describe you know, what the reach, frequency, and effectiveness uh, is of the media that's running on those devices. So we collect this data, we deduplicate it, uh, process it in a way that we can then produce insights research for advertisers that allows them to see the effectiveness of their current plan, but it also allows them to start to segment their audience uh, better and address them better in the future as well. Um, we produce segments uh, that are now addressable from a programmatic standpoint once we have the insight and have assessed you know, the, the effectiveness of the current plan. So what kind of media do you power and who do you work with? And I know IPG is an investor, and explain a little bit about your relationship with the buy side. Yeah, so the demand side across every agency, not just IPG, um, are using our segments to uh, reach TV audiences across many different devices. Um, imagine someone who's been exposed to a TV commercial, take an automotive example. Um, if you've seen a TV commercial for a, a, an SUV and you'd like to, as a consumer, um, see what that SUV looks like in a color of your choice or where you could go to test drive that. The best sequence of messaging, in our opinion, is one where you tell a story on television and you stay with that you know, exposed audience through their you know, consumer journey. That means placing and retargeting that exposed audience on second screen devices uh, and then you know, basically in deep, more deeply engaging that audience, uh, particularly with the group or that segment that cares about the product you're trying to sell. We've seen this sort of consumer pathway or journey from TV through digital actually produce phenomenal results for, uh, for the demand side. So within of that 180 million universe of devices, about 15 million of them are smart TVs. And our software inside these smart TVs is actually analyzing every bit of video that's being consumed, whether it's linear television, on-demand television, over-the-top television, game console usage. So we can see pretty much everything that's on those TVs. Um, we're linking that to these other devices. So if someone's seen a TV commercial and then going and visiting an advertiser's website after the TV ad exposure, we see that behavior on a one-to-one -one basis. And we can report back to the advertiser the effectiveness or the attribution value of that uh, TV ad. So this is something that we're doing with a panel that's quite substantial. We're operating in the US, obviously, but we've also launched in Europe as well at, here at the show at DMexico. So we've had a number of advertisers come and say, you know, what we've done with you in the US, particularly exciting to be able to do it in Europe as cool. well. Cool, and you are uh, you're have a demo. Uh, you're hosted by IPG. How's that going? And what's it's kind of what's going on there? Well, we're showing at IPG um, our live ratings. You know, as, something that's unique about Samba is that our software in these TVs is actually reporting back at a sub-second interval. So it's something that you know in the US no one had seen until we showed it two years ago, that you're seeing real-time ratings. You know, actually, if you go over to the, uh, to the booth at IPG, you're seeing the top 10, it's a ranker. It's the top 10 shows in the US. We're showing the top 10 in Germany, since we're here in Germany, in real time. So you'll see the real-time GRP. Um, you'll also see the engagement level. Uh, for any one of these shows. We score every show on German television now in terms of how loyal is the audience. Are they watching the entire show? Are they ad skipping, channel hopping? Um, and so from an advertiser or demand perspective, you can start to look at the quality of the audience for the first time and uh, build your plans accordingly. Cool. Uh, you guys hired Dan Ackerman recently, great hire. And uh, tell us about you know the business growth and hiring and strategic moves that we can expect over the next few months. Yeah, Dan was, uh, has been on staff for five weeks, but really hit the ground running. And something that we've seen as a sort of recipe for our success is uh, you know, bringing people on that have an appreciation for both TV and digital. Um, TV, we believe, is the medium that reaches the most people and it's the most effective in telling stories. Uh, digital, really great for frequency, really great for conversion. But when you put these two things together, we believe one plus one will tend to equal three. And in our people, what we're looking for, you know, people that have done both, have experience in both, or conversant in both, have relationships in both. So when we sit down with our clients, whether it's, you know, a TV buyer or a digital buyer, 
that we're able to bridge those worlds more effectively uh, than if we were, you know, representing one side or the other. Dan and our other, you know, key members of the team have an appreciation for that, uh, you know, how each of these two worlds have existed in the past.